Have you ever paused to ponder why, since the pandemic, the economic disparity in America has grown more pronounced? As we delve into this issue, we'll unravel some startling facts that might just shake your perspective. Consider this. As of June, the bottom 80% of households in the United States had lower bank deposits and liquid assets compared to their state in March 2020. A stark contrast from the initial phases of the pandemic, when government support and restricted spending led to an accumulation of excess savings. Now the tables have turned. The rich have continued to get richer, while the majority of Americans have been getting poorer. The Federal Reserve and Bloomberg calculations present a clear picture of this rapid drawdown of excess savings, particularly among lower-income groups. The wealthiest one-fifth of households still have cash savings 8% above pre-COVID levels. Meanwhile, the poorest two-fifths have seen an 8% decrease and the middle class has fallen below pre-pandemic levels. Digging deeper into the situation, you'll find that average hourly earnings are lower now than when the current administration took office. Layoffs are on the rise, with companies like Citigroup and Stellantis announcing large-scale layoffs. Crime rates have soared, with incidents of theft and looting becoming more frequent. Protests and civil unrest fueled by international conflicts in the upcoming election year are expected to escalate. Remember the GameStop saga? A struggling brick-and-mortar video game retailer experienced a significant increase in valuation due to a coordinated effort by Reddit users. These users sought to punish hedge funds that were shorting the stock and to fight against a system they felt was rigged against them. While the primary goal was to spread a message about the power of the Reddit community and to challenge the financial system, it also highlighted a growing sentiment among younger investors. This generational anger and sense of disenfranchisement is fostering a Robin Hood mentality across America. What we are witnessing is a society grappling with the consequences of economic disparity. As this divide continues to widen, it's time for a collective introspection. What can we do to bridge this economic gap and create a fairer society? Taking steps towards financial literacy is a great start. Understanding the economic system, making informed decisions, and advocating for fair financial policies can all contribute to a more equitable economy. Supporting local businesses and economies can also make a significant impact. By choosing to buy local, you are investing in your community and helping to create a more balanced local economy. Lastly, never underestimate the power of your vote. Engage with the political process, understand the policies that impact your economic situation, and make your voice heard. Economic inequality isn't just a statistic, it's a reality that affects us all. It's time we took a stand, not just for ourselves, but for the collective good. So arm yourself with knowledge, support your community, and exercise your democratic right, because together we can make a difference.